Do you know the person standing behind you? No, but I'm about to have a look. Okay, there's no one behind me. <laughs> What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're playing uh, this thing called Bong Chion Dong Ghost. Uh, somebody linked me this in the Discord and said that this is a scary comic that they wanted me to read and make a video out of. And I was like, you know what? That sounds like fun. How scary can a comic be? So we're just gonna read through this, uh, see what happens. Apparently this is an old, old thing. Like this has been around for a long time. Uh, I've never seen this before. I've never read this before. So it should be a good time. Just to let y'all know boys, before we get into the video, I am gonna be going live tonight at 6 p.m. We're gonna be going for five hours uh, to celebrate 30,000 subscribers because I had to cut the live stream last time short uh, because I felt like I was going to die for some reason, um, but I'm good now. So to make up for last time, we're going to go for five hours this time because I didn't want to do y'all dirty like that. All right. I hope you guys are having an amazing 14th of January so far. Uh, let's read this comic. Bong Chion Ghost. Okay. First of all, I don't know what the fuck kind of name Bong Dong is <laughs> for a ghost. But if I met a motherfucking name Bong Dong, I would not be fucking with him. This story is based on true eyewitness accounts. Ooh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't fucking know. It was around 1120 that night. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night study sessions at school. Bitch, first of all, when you're walking alone like that, you need to be aware as shit, okay? Don't have fucking headphones on. Don't have a hoodie up, okay? Because you don't know when fucking Jeff the Killer is going to be right behind you. Hi. And you're not going to hear him coming because you're going to have fucking... Cardi B blasting in your headphones. Nah, y'all y'all be aware of shit like this. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Yeah, that's a bad sign. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Don't look down at the ground. Look around. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes. Although there wasn't anyone around me, that's when you book it. That's when you fucking book it. I looked up to see who there was and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. <laughs> a little strange? Dude, her, her right leg is fucking cracked. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Crippled is an understatement, dude. A major understatement. Soon she was walking very slow. I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. This girl's dumb. She deserves to die. I'll just say it. I'll be the first to say that what this girl deserves whatever the fuck is coming to her. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all of her joints in her body had been twisted. <laughs> worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out everywhere. How is that worse than having your entire fucking body cracked and twisted? Oh yeah, I might be paralyzed from the neck down, uh, but what's worse is I'm having a bad fucking hair day. It seems so weird that I stopped walking. That's when you stop walking, do a quick 180, and run back the fuck wherever you came from. I'm going back to school, dude. Fuck it. Me and the janitor will be kicking it all fucking night long. I don't give a shit. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Stupid motherfucker. Whoa, my God. Okay, so I was not expecting the comic to move <laughs> or make that fucking sound that it fucking did. What kind of shit is that? Look, dude, nah. It looks like her scalp has been ripped off halfway. All this fucking blood coming down her face. She's smoking something, apparently. Look at her eyes, dude. Bloodshot to shit. Crackheads, man. <laughs> Crackheads, dude. <laughs> you know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. Hey, y'all heard my ass scream 10 million percent. Whoa! That was right. I froze there not being able to move at all. Damn, she's breaking a sweat. Holy crap, or, is the, or are those fucking tears? Where's my baby? Bitch, how the fuck should I know? My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking. When I did that, it still gives me chills thinking up to that moment. Is she gonna fucking clock this bitch? I answered, pointing as far as I could. Yeah, bitch, that's when you point as far as you can and fucking run the other way like, Oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah, he's back there. He's, he's actually right, yeah, there he is. Oh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how nonchalant it's like oh over there bitch the lady's head is fucking twisted 180 degrees Look at how happy she looks fucking weirdos 
I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to. Good. Now book it, bro. Book it back to the school. And I couldn't see her anymore. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Okay, she's got the converse on. I see it. I see it. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. That's what you should have done the second you caught a fucking pixel of that bitch in your eye. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. Finally, something fucking smart. At that moment, here we go. She is not here. I heard her screaming from far away. First of all, that's not my problem. Uh, <laughs> ah! <gasps> fucking again with the... <laughs> Shit! Why the fuck is she running at me? Like, don't fucking do it again! Coming through the screen and shit. <sighs> hey, I'm gonna find whoever sent this to me. And I'm on my way. I'll be there in five. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. Bitch, if I saw that, I wouldn't just do a fucking... I'd be doing a... <gasps> In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bongcheon Dong, Guanak Gu Siol, a 33-year-old woman, jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surnamed Cho, a divorcee due to her extra martial affair. Extra martial or merit? Mer what the f- Okay. She had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. That's fucked. After an incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. Fuck that. Okay, that was it. Hey, I'm not fucking with comics anymore. Okay, since that comic was a little short, I found this game the other day, and it looked creepy as fuck. And I was like, I don't want to do y'all dirty with a fucking five-minute video. So we're going to play this as well. Uh, we're in this room. Apparently, we're taking a survey. Some shit's going to pop up underneath that fucking bed. I can already tell. First of all, dude, this room looks boring as fuck. Nothing on the wall. Bitches got three fucking Rubik's cubes and a computer. What the fuck are you doing? Start survey. Yes. Are you having a nice day? I'm having a pretty good day. I woke up, uh, had a sip of coffee, uh, a a ate some breakfast. I I've been doing pretty good. What about y'all? Are y'all doing good? The fucking thunder. Yes, I would say yes. Do you have many responsibilities? I do have a lot of responsibilities. Unfortunately, uh, yes. The rain is so loud. Look around for a moment. In the game or in real life? Let me have a look. Okay. Oh, there you guys are. Hey, what's up, guys? Y'all doing good? Okay, good. Look around. Okay, we'll look. Whoa! Press. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let's look around for a moment. In the game... Uh, not seeing shit. Yes, I am familiar with my surroundings. Do you know where you are? Well, I personally am sitting in my room. Uh, I don't know where the fuck this guy's at, though. Uh, 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 yes? Whoa! Fucking, who the fuck has an alarm for 1153? What kind of shit is that? Have you ever had a panic attack? Yes, I have. The shit is real. Uh, that shit's horrifying. Let me tell y'all about panic attacks. I used to get them a lot. Basically, if y'all don't understand it, it's like this feeling of dread and doom that you're about to fucking die. It's different for a lot of people, and I used to get it all the time. Uh, one time I smoked something, uh, that was laced with something else, and I, it was like a 12-hour thing. Don't smoke. I don't do drugs anymore. Uh, well, it wasn't- it, it was just marijuana. Uh, and that was some fucking bullshit. I don't smoke weed anymore. I don't do anything like that. And, um, I thought I was gonna die for 12 hours, and then for months after that, I would have this feeling of doom. Like I was about to die. Every fucking thing in my mind was telling me I'm about to die. My body started getting really cold. Fuck panic attacks, dude. Fuck them. Yes, I have. Do you find yourself questioning your existence? I mean, sometimes, especially when it gets super late at night and you're just sitting there lying in bed like, wow. Or you look in the mirror and you're like, am I really me? Like, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Do you believe there is a God? Yes, I do. Are you answering these questions out of free will? Yes, I, I believe I am. Are you certain? Yes, I am. 
Do you feel comfortable in your room? Uh, in this room? Let me have a look. No, but in my actual room, I would say, yeah, I'm kind of nervous that something's going to pop out behind my green screen one of these days and give me a fucking heart attack. But other than that, I am comfortable in my room, yes. If the lights went out, would you be scared? Uh, first of all, yes. Um, I would probably call the fucking cops. Secondly, last night, the light bulb in this room did pop, and it did scare the fuck out of me. Yes, I would. <gasps> F oh, fuck! Have you ever wondered when you will die, bitch? Well, something's in this fucking room. Yes, I- yes, I have. The door's fucking open. Isn't that great? He's under the fucking bed, or is he under the desk? Is he trying to give me head? Have you cleaned off your desk lately? Uh... <laughs> not really. No. Open the folder on your desk. Okay. HELL NO! IT'S ME! IT'S FUCKING ME! Do you recognize the contents of the folder? Yeah, I do. Throw away the contents of the folder. Do you have internet access? Yes, I do. Bro, how the fuck did they got me in there? How the fuck? It's my fucking- it's my fucking... Picture! How the f- how, how, how the fuck did they get this sh I don't understand it! Do I have internet access? Yes, I do. Do you have any enemies? Um... I guess I would say yes. If you suddenly went missing, would anybody come looking for you? I think... I think, yeah. Like 33,000 of y'all probably would. I would hope. Yes. Are you alone? Uh, unfucking fortunately I am! Yes. If you screamed, would anybody hear? Oh, fucking <laughs> y'all know my scream is so loud the fucking neighbors 30 houses down probably hear that shit yes do you know the person standing behind you no but i'm about to have a look okay there's no one behind me <laughs> what the fuck am i alone no i'm not i'm fucking not not anymore relax take some time to relax I'm relaxed. Look at- look! They got my picture! Yo, Teeth Testy, I know you're seeing this shit right now. The person who made this picture. Are you seeing this? Am I relaxed? No. The- absolutely the fuck not. Are my feelings real and not just programmed like a machine? Yes. Is there a meaning to life? I believe there is. Do you know who you are yet? Zachariah Beal. Yes. Do you know what is happening? No, I do not, but I keep looking behind me because I'm fucking nervous. No. If you were told the truth about your existence, would you deny it in hopes for a better answer? I mean, if God himself came down and told me the truth, then I would not deny it. But if, if, if fucking crackhead Joe down the street told me, I'd probably be like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's $5. Um, no, I would not. Zekka, here we go with the Zekka shit. My name's Zechariah. Yes, what do you want? When I ask you questions, is it really you answering? Yes, bitch, this isn't a Black Mirror episode. I'm not getting programmed by anybody else. Yes. If I could prove to you that you are not sentient, would you be shocked? Sentient, not fucking sentient. Yes, I would. Do you want to know the truth? Fuck it, why the hell not? Look out your window. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking! Look around you. This room, the door, the computer, the house next door. What the fuck is going on? Hi. I see the house next door. None of it is real. I made this world, I made you. Okay, well, are we in the Matrix? Okay, I've been trying to help you see it for what it is, and now I've finally done it. What the fuck? This shit's- this shit's giving me- Anxiety, bruh! I can finally set you free. Set me fucking free. Come on, set me free. Am I free? I guess I'm free. Alright, well... <laughs> I'm gonna end it there. What a fucking episode, dude.
What an episode of Zach Beal TV. <laughs> Both of those scared the fuck out of me, dude. How the fuck did they get that picture? I've got thousands of pictures on my computer. I don't even have a profile picture. How did they find the one that I use everywhere? Huh? All right. I love you guys so much. Y'all are fucking dope. Uh, you guys mean the fucking world to me. Hey, if you guys are liking the videos, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Remember, boys, we're going live tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all the way to 11. We're going to be having a huge 30,000 subscriber celebration. And we've got memberships now. Y'all can become members. Uh, they, they told me that I could do three different tiers, like $5 a month, $15 a month, and fucking $30 a month. I'm not doing y'all dirty like that. Uh, $5 a month is going to be the only tier I have, and it's going to have everything in it. So if y'all want to continue to support the channel even more than you already are, if you don't want to, y'all are fucking dope by just being here and showing up. Like, for real. But yeah, I'm not going to do y'all dirty. I'm not going to make you guys pay fucking $25 a month. Uh, it's going to be $5 a month. You, members are going to be getting an extra video every week just for them. Behind the scenes stuff, private Discord server where we all hang out and play games. Uh, maybe, maybe a few videos early before anybody else. I just think I just think that'd be cool. So hey, oh, and like extra emotes and badges in the live chat. That shit's gonna be sick. That'll be available tonight if everything goes well on the live stream. And hey, if you guys, I've seen a lot of people saying in chat when I live stream, especially, uh, I feel bad because I can't donate. Um, I feel bad because I can't do this and that and the third. If y'all are just being here watching, that means the fucking world to me. Y'all don't have to donate. Y'all don't have to do anything. As long as y'all are just showing up and hanging out with your boy, that's all I want, man. Y'all are dope just the way you are. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are fucking awesome. I love y'all so much. I'll see you tomorrow with another video or tonight at the live stream. I love y'all. Peace.